This is, I might just leave it muted for this round. Um, audio is coming through. Um, I can I can turn it off though. I can make it so it's literally just me talking. Uh, I don't way, mind either I'll, way. I'll, I'll be professional. It's I'm gonna shoot. Fun to hear a lot. I'm a I'm a good boy. Don't it. worry. <laughs> no. <laughs> And I'm not, so I'm out. Okay, <laughs> 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 right, we're I'm already liking now, this. This is fun. Uh, oh. oh wait, I'm not ready yet. And yeah, I'm just gonna do really death match since it's just five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm looking. All right. Uh, okay. So I just saw where two other people spawned. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm getting a bit of lag on my side. I need a little bit. I'm um, not a, a little player. delay in the uh, the shooting. That's called old age. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if it's because of me. I'm not noticing delay though on my part. Are you host? Yes. Oh, you won't get any delay then. Oh, okay. Yeah, because basically at that point you're just running. If you're, if you're a host, you're just running. Yeah, you're just, yeah you're I'm just running the mass part. You guys are running off of that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of lag on my side. I don't know if anyone else is because you're all stateside, aren't you? Well, most of you are. I'm in the Netherlands. And I've got an issue where I can see my gun again. I'm guessing um, this is sort of like... Uh... Are you yeah. getting lag from the Netherlands? No, fine. Yeah, weird. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm forgetting, I'm streaming. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that'd be worse. Uh... <laughs> well, this is awesome. Uh, hello, everyone in chat. I can see you. Hello. Uh... Two questions. Oh. Uh, do all the do all the projectiles use projectile? Do, sorry, all the bullets use projectile or line trace. So all the bullets Ooh. are line trace. The projectile you're seeing is a particle effect, just for um, uh, just for oh, the visuals. Nice. <laughs> I spawn, I die. Wee. Well, that's a lot of good things. Have uh, to get something that's projectile, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I was thinking of maybe like a. Um, so this is one idea I had the other night with the bow and arrow that will be coming in the next patch. Um, is that it'll, it'll um, pin you to the wall. Sort of like how that yep. bolt gun does in Half-Life 2. Nice. Yep. I thought that'd be quite fun. And like if you're yep. in a row, it'll take you all out in a row. That thing. Sounds good. That'd be quite fun to do. Oh, I'm sick of falling off. <laughs> <laughs> Put some railings up. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, map, this map's probably one of the bigger ones. Um, oh god, here's Luke Skywalker again. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes you think of Zero from um, um, Mega Man. Does a little saber. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I'm off. Oh, just go Oh, away. nice. You got me. You got me. Um, is there a deadline for the final product? Yes. Yeah, so we're aiming to release it at the end of this month. Oh, yeah. My lack is real. <laughs> yeah, don't stream this one. Right, uh... Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I th my gun is basically a pistol. Oh, my God. Pistole. <laughs> Whoa, 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 no, I don't want to fall! <laughs> okay, so the sword doesn't really help you get back up when you fall. Uh, <laughs> it can do, if you do it enough times. I think someone just committed suicide in lava. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, that would be me. <laughs> it's probably my favorite sound effect in the game is the lava burning. Uh... Yeah, I liked it. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I love, I love the ragdoll physics because sometimes it ends you out like in a pose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, knocked off. Oh. Oh, <laughs> somebody got launched. Uh, so everyone that's watching this live, hello. Um, 
if you don't know what this is, this is Fire Team, our new game coming out. And one of the things about it is that it's completely free to play. There's no microtransactions in it, no adverts, nothing. It'll cost you nothing at all to do, and nothing intrusive like that. Um, and everything you see in here, you'll be shown how to make on the channel. So you, if you wanted to, you can make your own competitor to this and make it even better. I don't mind. You're more than welcome to. Um, all the visuals you see here are from the marketplace, so you can easily just go ahead and make a direct clone of this if you want to. There's no nothing stopping you. Um, I'm here to educate, and if you want to have a bit of fun as well, here's the game to have fun with. And so far, it's been not too bad. Confirm kill. Oh, there. Oh, I was about to shoot you with the veil gun. I'm getting used to that sword. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, so don't. There's a last <laughs> minute uh, adjustment that was last night. Yeah, because yeah, you know, that best. sword did not do that regularly. It just, you know, it would swing towards you, launch towards the player, and hopefully, you know, it would you would hit him, but the, the hit thing was kind of yeah, off. So it was off. Ryan added that, and it's it's wicked. Yeah, I mean, it's overpowered. I it. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Uh, this is made in Unreal 426. In 427, Steam is broken. At least the one I last looked. Um, so this is in 426. Later oh. on, maybe in the future, we'll go to four, uh, number 5. But right now, 426. Can we get auto reload or what? Yeah, can do. That's on the list I'm requested, so I'll push that nice. up. So what I'll do is we will auto reload. The plan would be for that. Oh, hello. Um, um, Get in that fire. <laughs> <laughs> I also noticed something. When Sorry. you guys are throwing grenades, even though it's not near me, I'm still hearing the blasts. Uh, they are loud. Um, I'm not hearing all ah. the blasts. I don't know. But yeah, um, the auto reload the plan would be for that is that if you are holding down the button, it won't reload unless you release the button first. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm dead. Bye. So you do have to at least let go of it. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, what whoa, happened whoa. there? Yeah, was, did you get spawned in and teleported yeah. Yeah. out? Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah, weird. Yeah. Yeah. The only time I got the damn sword. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, this is also uh, someone's asking in chat. So this game is made Jesus. entirely in blueprints with zero plugins. So you could, like it says, uh, I wanted to be an example of what you can do with, without any extra knowledge or... Wait a second. Stuff. Wait a second. All right, you're in front... Okay. I just want to make sure. Sorry. So, I'm getting health regen. <coughs> uh, nice. That was weird. No, I shot... I had no health, half health. I shot somebody. My health went back up to max. It might have, uh, might have been a bit of lag on it, maybe. <laughs> I think it's visual, because if it's just happening again, I'm noticing on my side. Okay, it's weird. weird. Also, another bug I'm noticing is that um, when you start, or well, when you respawn, um, the ammo you had left in your clip still stays yeah. as your clip. Yeah, that's fine, I can fix that. Uh, so the yeah. ammo count thing was one of the last bugs I fixed. Uh, they had another issue, but um, it looks like it's made other issues. The classic game development issue. Fix one bug, make two more. Ugh, oh man. Okay, let's see if it kicks me into a black screen. Yeah, oh yeah. I bet it will. Mm. Yep. Yeah, so you have I'm to quit out the game. Lava. All F4. And then... Um, yeah. Someone else... If someone else hosts, because I'm streaming, it might not be best if I host. Yeah, go ahead. I think Ryan... Yeah, Ryan should host. We were just doing a quick check, so yeah, yeah. So yeah, it does do. It was showing me sh looking at the lava pit and the uh, rocks, like where it first spawns you and you see a camera. Yeah, that's right. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so now we know that one. Yep. Yeah, cool. uh, who's hosting this next match? Oh, yeah, 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 had it. All right. Uh, yeah, that Master Audio slider doesn't work yet. That hasn't been hooked up to anything yet. Just there. <laughs> just, just to show you that it will do something. It's like, look, it looks pretty. Yeah. 
But, uh, uh, no, there's no match. Uh, Who's hosting? Who's hosting the next game? I don't know, someone, someone hosts, anyone. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Right. Where did you get the music from, Ryan? Uh, again, Marketplace. There was, um, oh, I think it was even like a free pack one month. Like, just a collection of just music. It's just, I think it's called Action Trailer Number 5 or something like that. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> it does work. <laughs> I like it. Catch. Uh, uh, the visual settings work, by the way. If you, haven't, if you are having trouble with, like, running on computers, it, you can turn it down to low. Turn off beats, turn off beats, off beats, and stuff like that. There's a question I forgot to ask you. Are you ever gonna have control set for controller also? Uh, possibly, yeah. It, it, it only the, it, it does it does it should work with controller, but the thing is the menus. I've got to, I've got to make the menus. Yeah, controller. yeah, the UMG menu stuff. Yeah. yeah, I still need to learn how to do that. Um, is anyone hosting here? Yeah? Uh, Jeffrey. Yep. Oh yeah, Jeffrey. And it's still doing that weird fourth name not popping up. Hmm. Yeah, strange. We've got some weird Steam things though with this as well. Like, for example, like one of the things you can get back from Steam is the ping from each person. But every person reports back 9999. Hmm. So it's the default. Um... Oh, that's. I always wondered about that. Yeah, it's just a weird Steam bug. Um, go ahead and start. So, it, I mean, when if and when Kill we make the change to Unreal Five, we may look at doing um, Epic uh, online oh, services. Same map. Have some of that already. Uh, I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Hey. I'd like a dash. I'd like to be able to dash. Oh yeah, okay. Hmm. Do we the sword like kind of dodge? does that a little bit. Yeah, it does, yeah. It'd be, it'd be nice just to, even if it was a forward dash, you know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, I'll, 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 we'll, we'll put it on the list of things to try out. Bit of a double tap. Oh. Um. Hey, up. Some other questions we've got in chat. So, how many idle animation loops does the guy have in the oh. menu? He has about five, I think. Oh, there you go. What's the? Is that the crosshair not coming on the screen? The little block? Yeah, if you shoot, the middle it, it'll of the screen. Itself. Okay. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to hide myself somewhere. Don't. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go hide at the back of one of the rooms because I'm gonna turn on the spectator cam and do some uh, a secret secret key combination for spectator cam to uh, watch the match. Everybody start spamming buttons now. <laughs> uh, it should work. I'll just hit, hit the menu. <laughs> oh wow, that was awesome. Hey, why is the spectator cam not working? That uh, was probably awesome. the host. That's why. Only the host can be spectator. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll do it. Enough. I'll do it later. <laughs> Wait. See. Okay. See. I shouldn't have gotten that kill off of you. Once someone grenaded you, and I got a kill. Well, okay. Nah. It's literally I like just whoever hit you last. That. That's all of is doing. Um, I'm not doing any fancy calculations to work out who worked out the most appropriate mm -hmm. damage or anything like that. Um. Rain fire. <laughs> what the? I didn't even die. Yeah. I got teleported when I didn't die. Mm. It's a feature. <laughs> it's a new feature. Uh, we get so well. many kills, get teleported somewhere safe. Yeah, safe. What's going on? There's no safe place on this bloody map. <laughs> yeah, this map's quite harsh. 
<laughs> oh god. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching some of this stuff. Alright, hey, uh, hey. I was trying to go the other way. <laughs> I'm just oh, trying to get to the middle. I instantly died. Yeah. yeah what the? I definitely had um, immunity when okay. you spawn. I think. I think that's a good thing. Uh, and for some reason, I still get teleported to the, the, the area when I'm still in the middle of the map. And I just grabbed a gun and made it into a sword. Uh, how many maps are okay. there? Okay. Um, there are. I would say six, currently. Whoa. Holy crap! Uh, really? Yeah, That's like Steam, you fly. Wish list it. Um, sorry for the impromptu live stream. I would have set up more the, all the stuff properly with the links, but literally I'm just rushed sure. onto it and pushed li live. Um, I got teleported. But you can find the wish links. Uh, wish list link on my Twitter, uh, YouTube <laughs> comment uh, on the uh, community's page, Patreon, Woo! Facebook. In the heart of battle. But okay. you can also just Google it into uh, fight it into um, Sting. Uh, crosshair stays oh. on when you die. Uh, okay. Oh my god, it's got to teleport three times in a row. Yeah, what is that? I don't know what that's going about. That was weird. Uh, the guns are using line traces, so it's a hit, these are hit scan guns. All of them. Can I get out of my corner, please? Oh. Right. Let's pick some eyes. <laughs> um, explosions don't do you damage as well, so you can use them. Like, if you've noticed, we've used them to bounce ourselves up. They're there to give you a bit of momentum, move around the map a lot quicker. And do some crazy oh, maneuvers. Oh, I hate that sword. Oh, that bloody sword. Yeah, the sword is pretty, yeah. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm leaving. I'm off. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> that sword is kind of... Yeah, it is. Oh. It's, 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 it's kind of I'm gonna, I'm going to cry. Yeah, the teleporting, I think, is the game ending. Someone hitting 25 already. I don't know. Is someone hitting 25 uh, already? Who? who uh, what's no. top score? 19. Yeah, so I can't see my, my HUD's broken because I went to try to go to admin. Oh, the fear. The fear of that bloody sword. <laughs> <laughs> you just see it coming towards you. You're like, oh, well, that's oh, really done. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just sent someone yeah. flying off a cliff. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> so, Ryan, is this, the, is this like the first game you've officially released? Or oh, have you released geez. other games? I've released other games. This is the first multiplayer game. Um, and first... <laughs> PC game. Oh, officially released. Oh, oh first Steam good. game? First what, sorry? First Steam right. game? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I had to go through the process of figuring out the Steam back end of how that will work. And... Yeah, yeah. All that malarkey. Uh, how, how many players? There's eight uh, players in a match. Oh, maximum. And it felt kind of right for the map sizes. I don't think we want any more than eight. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think eight is... I mean, we got... Uh, have we got in here six, have we? Uh, I think five or six. Five or six, yeah, yeah. so... Yeah. Right, you're not allowed that sword anymore, right? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! <sighs> I got fried. <laughs> so, obviously the sword was one of the last add-ins we had here. Now, we, I said everything's up for balancing and changing. Um, so one of the things... But I could balance with the sword is make it so that you it's not instant you have to have a little wind up on it so you have to hold the button down for a couple that of seconds. That would be nice yeah I think that would do better having to give it a charge. Yeah a little, little charge just just like a one it. second two second charge. Um, nice one. Pulled the mute that good. Well the sword pulled me back from the, uh, the abyss a few times it's kind of really cool that way. Yeah that's the thing you do get that well, what about if I make it so it charges, but it can also go longer as a balance? So if you do fall off, distance. you can charge it and get yourself back off on the cliff. Yeah. That moment, the range is a thousand units. It's, it's quite short. That's the thing it has. That's definitely like you know, the whole last person thing, because someone else grenaded that and gave me the last kill. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> What about, and this is a bit of a weird idea, but what about, you know, like Mario Kart, 
Mm-hmm. You know, the the players that are at the back will get some kind of boost. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. me, for example, who's getting owned okay. all the time. <laughs> it gets quite demoralising, you know what I mean? So, like, give that player, when they spawn, a special weapon that they could never normally get, you know what I mean? Yeah, you could do that, or you can give them, like, a shield. High, shield. Higher resistance, it is. Uh, high resistance temporary yeah. damage, uh, higher yeah. damage output. So, as the host, it booted me to, like, a still screen. How do I get out of that again? You have to close the all game. for <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> it's... Yeah. But thankfully, it's a quick loading game, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For now. <laughs> do you want to host this one, Ryan, so you can do the uh, spectator view? Uh, I won't because I'm streaming. I don't think it would be. I mean, I could try it, but because I. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'm hosting a session now. We'll see if the lag can hold it. Uh, so, oh, the room's open, by the way. Uh, what happens if the host leaves? Does he pass the host to another person? Uh, no, there's no host migration. Um, uh, for that to really work is a pain. Um, I don't know. I won't be doing that. <laughs> um... Uh, right, let's do a different map. Oh, let's please. do the castle one. We ain't done the castle one. Yeah. So there's no lava and no falls, right? Nope. You're walled Excellent. off. Excellent. You're okay. Um, brilliant. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's six of us. We'll do a team death match. Yep. Also, um, you know that the rifle you have, you can also make that into an upgraded charge one too, where it shoots multiple shots while you hold the charge. Yeah. Yeah, like a wave sort of gun type thing. Yeah. So, just like, that would be a idea. So you, you give a just charge to these weapons. Just annihilate one, everyone in front of you. <laughs> yeah, just, you, you just charge it, just whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it out there. Uh, how Actually, long... Wait, 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 we're on team, that's right. Teammate, teammate. Trying to kill yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> Pink. Um, so how long has it been taking me to make this? Uh, so this has been in development since the start Ooh, of December. Me. <laughs> See the arrow uh, the Part time. <laughs> Overall, you know, if I were to condense yeah, it down, are. Probably about a month <laughs> and a half of development with some bug, mostly bug fixing time. So if you're blue, kill red. If you're red, kill blue. That's pretty cool right now. <laughs> that sword. Okay, so I'm on blue team. Right, lovely. <laughs> Ow! I'll, I'll make a little nice. indicator to make it easy for you to know which team you're on. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah. I'll put it at the bottom in big letters, Team Crack on the Team Griffin. Yeah, like right there in the bottom center. Yeah. Like you can even put, put it, it as there. a tag and the color of the team you're in mm -hmm. so you can know at all times. Or even above your health bar too. It, either or works, you know. That'd be good. Yeah, definitely have to be different colors as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm, not, I'm aware Ooh, of the Steam color. API stuff. There's loads of stuff in the Steam API. Uh, but one of the things that's selling point of this game, and remember, it's not that just the game that I'm selling here, it's also the course of teaching how to make the game. But one of the key selling points of this is that this is all done in blueprints. There's zero C++, zero plugins. It's all 100% vanilla Unreal. It's that's amazing. it. As um, yeah. a way to show people that you can just <laughs> pump out content like this. Reds in the middle. Pretty Reds in quickly. middle. Rooftops. Yeah, this one's fun to get on the rooftops off. Uh, you. Rain fire! Ah, oh, missed. Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome. How's the lag holding up for you guys whilst I'm streaming? Actually, not lag. Yeah, no, I'm getting a little bit, but. Not like game breaking or anything. Okay. So, it's, it's like I, I'm, I'm not having any lag at all. Okay, good. Oh, crush you, my teammate. So you can see it. Ah. Ah. I'm getting a little lag, but not bad. Not bad. Uh, no, no, no add-on, no plugins, nothing. It is all vanilla. <laughs> Will you allow modding? Uh, no. Um, you know what I wish there was? I wish there was like a quick mail. A mail button, yeah. 
Ah! Yeah, go on. And for that, just throw a grenade and hope you hit someone. <laughs> uh, so, when does the course start? So, um, the game is playing on the release at the end of March, and I'm hoping the first chapter of the course um, will be out for Patreon members at the same time. And then, uh, so patrons will get the whole Hello, no. chapter for free. Uh, right, not for free, but you know what I mean. I get the whole lot at once, um, and then it will come out like a drip fed, or one a week for. Oh, man. Um, that was crazy. Um, how will I be getting paid from the game? I won't. It's completely free. Oh. There's zero adverts. There's zero microtransactions. There's no store. Nothing. You can play the whole game for free. Broken wins! Woo! Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> <sighs> Thank God for walls. <laughs> and <laughs> ones too. Um, how do you get a beta key? Uh, if you're a Patreon member, uh, prior to uh, the other day... Um, oh yeah, this is the bug. I think I... Hang on. Um, if you're a beta... Uh, sorry, if you're a Patreon member... As of the other day, uh, literally two days ago, you would have got a, um, a key emailed to you. Uh, should I host again or someone else want to host? Well, if you want to host and take uh, cameras and shots like that, you could uh, just run on regular deathmatch if you felt like it. We can't run around going crazy while you do your thing. Yeah, sure, yeah. How are you able to run the servers? Uh, it's all client-based. Uh, room's open, by the way. So, yeah, it's all client-based, so there's no servers to run. If the game does well, uh, and people, and it's a big enough request, um, we'll look into getting dedicated servers for it. Um, at the end, there's a couple of plans for patches down the road to add even more unique, crazy stuff to the game. Um, because it's free to play completely, I'm not weighed down to like, if I make a bad decision or design, will it break the monetization of the game? I'm not worried about that. We are just going into making fun stuff. Uh, fun 90s style, break doom, golden eye, esque combat. Um, we've not done a map yet. I think we've done them all so far, mate. Yeah. Go back to factory. Um, so, uh, normal deathmatch, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Uh, so yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so if, uh, one, once all those big patches are in with the unique stuff that I want to do, um, I will take it to, to win. Uh, Microsoft to and win. PlayStation as well, so you can get on console. Um, um, and uh, that would probably have some monetization on it of some kind. Or at least it would definitely have uh, servers. Um, right, I'm, go, I'm just going to hide in this corner. If you see me looking at a corner, looking at the floor. So I'm trying Shoot to go kill. Try to spectator cam. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah? Is any of these... Is that Ryan? Yeah, the one in the corner is me. Looking okay. down on the floor. So, so all of us can kill each other here, okay. Yep, feel free to kill each other. I'm now in We're all cam. making sure because we're all the same character. Yeah, yeah, it's going to look weird. You're all the same character. No, it was funny how all three of us were just standing there trying to figure out who was... <laughs> <laughs> Is it suicide? Are you killing yourself? Oh, who knows? Oh, there you are. Okay, yeah, he's literally looking at a wall, guys. So if you see him looking at a wall, don't kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Oh, I should make myself immune when I'm in spectator cam. Uh, you would have got the beta key. It got sent to the same email address you sent to. Uh, you signed up to on Patreon. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this right now. I'm tired of using the sword. Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, you can. Yes. You got the first one. That's for certain. That was awesome. I had to ask myself, Brian was at holding a sword. <laughs> hey. Still alive. 
Yeah, I should have really got some footage of uh, the free cam to um, do for the trailer. We'll do that probably later. <clears throat> that was a spray and pray. <laughs> I'm just like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> ah! Go away! Go away! My spy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nice. Oh, uh, you think of any any round base modes? Yes. Uh, so patch 1.1, so the first patch after release, will include loads of new game modes. Um, I've got at Whoa. least ten on the list. Be added. Hello. Um, mix your Hello. team, solo, and round base ones. This includes things this like um, uh, capture flag, king, king of the hill, control, <laughs> attrition. The, the standard ones you expect. Also some oh, weird unique ones that are yeah. exclusive to fire team. Um, so there's race where you've got checkpoints appearing across the map and you have to just run to the checkpoints and like, like gates and uh, just race across the map to get there. Uh, some will be in the air, so you might have to launch yourself in the air to get there. Um, other one is called uh, piñata. So there's a moving piñata around the map. You shoot it to get points. Um, there's pack attack where you, there's a lot of ball, ball point things running around the map. Like just just floating all over the place and you have to get as many as you can and return them back to your bank to bank them sort of like hungry hippos but guns um yeah so lo lots of other things as well i can't tell which one's ryan and which one's not um ah, I'm just... do, 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 any player save data or stats uh yes there is i'll show you it after yep it does store stats there's a le leveling up system as well uh, but uh, it's, it's a bit buggy at the moment. You can't level up. You, the XP gains are there, but for some reason the level up animation isn't playing. I don't know why. Um, I'll look into that. So um, like data wise, it is leveling up. Data wise, like it is leveling up, but it's just not showing it. Possibly. Yeah. Um, nice. I, I, it'd be worth having a look. It may be just that it's not linked up properly. Uh, but there's 25 levels in general uh, to level up. And, there's, and they are they do get longer so they take longer to level up as you get higher <laughs> um and as you as you guys probably seen who are playing on the home page there's a section for challenges um these would be bonus xp things you can do in the game uh to uh, get xp to level up as well and these might also be some weird stuff as well so i've mentioned this to chris as well before about the idea of hiding gnomes around the level and if you hit the gnome you get really loads of xp um, oh yeah. So a little little treasure hunt type thing around the maps. Um, scavenger hunt. Like yeah. literally hidden like on top of the buildings, like in really odd places. Um, if you destroy the gnome, you get bonus points. I also had the idea of turning something like that into like a golden snitch of like Harry Potter. So if you find this, like it's normal death match, but if one of you kills this one little thing, tiny thing, and you get it, uh, you win, regardless. So you can either win by points or spend the time trying to find this little thing. Fun. Oh. Did oh. I accidentally kill Ryan? Yeah, so I've respawned. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll continue fighting. <laughs> the spectator cam was mostly used for trailer making purposes. Oh, nice. Not really major like thing feature. Any anti-cheat before people attempt it? Uh, just the standard one that, that Steam give you. Um, but other than that, nope. Now oh, we've got to come out of here. Bloody thing. Another one. Oh. Um, but yeah, so in the game there is no sprint button. There's no aiming down sights. You just run and shoot. Um, the reason why they're not in there is because you're playing Call of Duty, and you and you notice if you've played Call of Duty, you're pretty much holding down sprint the whole entire time anyway. Um, and with uh, aim down sights, I didn't want people to stand still, so that's why you get kill tags in there to encourage people to go out and get into skirmishes um, rather than just try and hold back and stay there. That's a, that's why there's no sniper rifle, for example. Um, I didn't want people to hide. 
Uh, room's open, by the way. Uh, we'll do temple. <laughs> I'm getting hammered on there. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got a new, got a new <laughs> person joining us today. Good. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, so seven, Welcome, got yeah. almost a full full house. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know I had a bit of queue. It was in my spam the whole time. Ah, there you go. Um, some people even got two, I think. I've still got a, a few spare keys as well, so. Um, yeah. Um, ready up when you're ready, and uh, we'll go. Right. Deathmatch. Kill 25 enemy players to win. Yeah, I wouldn't unblock out. Uh, this was a, literally a last minute thing. To, I just hit the button to go live um, whilst we were testing this. Just so oh, people can see it. Oh, in front of me and not trying. Oh. oh, it was you, Ryan. You spawned in front of me. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to do... I don't want to try and kill like right away. I was trying to just let you go. And there's just that guy with a ah, sword. No, we don't. <laughs> it's just an Overwatch map, isn't it? Some of them are. It looks like an Overwatch map. Yeah. I think one of the most fun things about playing this, like personally, is I love the verticality of it. I like how, like, just go up in the air. Just, it's like you're just never looking straight forward. You're always looking up in the air around. And, Ah, I took your kill. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't my kill, actually. I was trying to take the tag. Ah. The motion blur. Uh, I don't think so. I think. <laughs> nice one. Oh, I just animation cancelled. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. That was Look at all the free kills. Flickering. <laughs> oh, I died. Grenade, grenade. Uh, what about the grenade animation? Do you think that one should be faster? I told him to say that one is faster. And the grenade, reload right? faster as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the reload's, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, the reload's a little bit too long. Okay. Just a little bit though. Not, not much though. But I might get like a 10% increase on that and the grenade. See how that goes. Well, I have a question about that. You know how you want to add stats on it? Do you think you make, since we get levels and all that, make it to where it's a stat based skill thing? You no. Can add that as your skills? No. No, okay, so it's just. Is that okay. a person playing it for five years should have the exact same level as someone who joined it five minutes ago? Okay. So, so it's going to be based. That's nice. Okay. Ooh, Again, I want to get that feeling like you've just gone into your there. mates and you've brought Grenaded. the golden eye round. You're just plugged in and go. So there's no like, transit, like no like persistent debate. Yeah, like no course. really advanced stuff there. Like, yeah, uh, you just pick up and go. go. Yes. Two beers. I'm, am I dumb or is G not the grenade button? No, it's F. Yeah, oh, oh, F. F. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took me about an hour to it. <laughs> It felt like Me the too. most comfortable one to hit. Yeah, it really I've... does. Oh, it's for just, those of just there. Probably no one else oh, is, but for oh, anyone oh, oh. that's left-handed, this is already built for left-handed too. Yes, this is yeah, nice. left-handed support as well. Um, there will also be um, so E will eventually be the one that you start like, pick up the flag and things like that. So that's already set up for those little modes when they come in. So do grenades do damage to the player that? Whoa! Over? No. Okay. You cannot hurt yourself no, just... at all in any kind of way. Oh, you can. And so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, besides falling out the map. Um, also, um, the same goes for teammates. You can't blow your teammates up. So you can knock them about. They get knocked back, but they don't get um, damage. Oh, okay. I'm over here trying to to lead people, and it doesn't work that way. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's 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 a uh, line trace. Um, Jerry uh, Myers got a good 
point, he's got huge hands, so G always feels more comfortable to him. But what I can do, just for fun of it, I'll just make F and G both do grenade. Not a big deal. Yep. Oh, I have grenades. Sounds good. I didn't know. Yeah, 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 grenades, yeah. My, my UI uh, said I had zero grenades, but I had... Oh, interesting. So, yeah, yeah whenever you yeah. respawn, it doesn't tell you that the grenades are respawned too. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you get them all back. You also get them back when you pick up a power weapon. Um. Oh god. Hi guys. Do -do -do. Uh. So I've already explained it to you guys in the voice chat, but I'll explain it to the guys at home who are watching this. Um, so in 1.2, uh, the plan would be to introduce uh, modifiers. And modifiers, if you've ever played Mortal Kombat, are the randomization things you get which change the flow of the game. So they like, uh, you can only do certain types of moves, you can only do certain types of attacks, or the extra gravity, or no gravity, or whatever. Um, th this game's going to have those as well. So it's a mode type, it won't be like for every mode, it'd be a one you turn off and on. And it randomizes like a slot machine, um, which ones you get. And some of them are going to be weird, some of them are going to be funny, some of them are going to be like just broken, fun things. Um, so for example, we'll have a like big head mode, paintball mode, classics from the olden days, um, infinite grenades, uh, explosions doing double the range and doing double the knockback. Um, things where your guns no. are uh, infinite reload, they don't have to reload at all, they just pump out bullets. Um, one where there's rail guns only, so everyone has a rail gun, it's different ammo. Uh, poison clouds, there's a giant poison <laughs> clouds going around the map, you have to avoid, they do damage to you as well. Uh, bombardment, so around the map there are like reticles that appear and they'll bombard the map with missiles that land and crash and do damage to you, uh, randomly. So you have to get un uh, undercover. Uh, the floor is lava, sometimes the floor will turn to lava, so you have to jump up into high ground or launch yourself in the air somehow whilst it's doing damage. Lots of things like that. There's about 30 of them in the list I've made so far. Um, and it would be like randomized. And the idea being is that it would be fully, um, the idea being is that each match will feel different. Uh, so you may have the same maps, but the modes may be the same as well, but um, there'll be almost endless combinations of like, customization. Oh, that was my sword. <laughs> Uh, so what is this game? Lightning strikes, yeah, that'd be quite a cool one to do. Yeah, yeah, lightning strikes would be good. Another one was well uh, that I've got is shroud, which basically means that your uh, your uh, vision is fogged, so you can't see far away. Um, so you can only see like in a certain radius around you, which means uh, close cool combat, and you'll just see and hear people dying. Where you? Good. Oh my god. RJ's yeah. about to win. Oh, thank God. Uh, so this is... Uh, what is this game? This is Fireteam. This is my newest game. This is the beta test for it. It comes out at the end of March, hopefully. See? <laughs> hopefully it comes out at the end of March. Um, ah, nice. Um, it's completely free to play. Zero microtransactions, zero adverts. I'm not going to make a cent out of it. Um, and I'm also going to teach you how to make it, so everything you see in the game here, there'll be tutorials on how to make it. So if you want, you can make your own fire team game at home. No problem. Um, and I'll get rid of that bug. And it's by the time it comes out. Okay. What bug? <laughs> the one where I have to restart <laughs> a game every day of time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is your webcam hiding anything on screen? Oh yeah, it probably is actually. Let me move my webcam. Um, what corner is best? Probably. Hang on. Uh, webcam. I'll move my webcam there. They're probably missing the score counter. Yeah for, <clears throat> yeah, for those of you that don't know, when you're in the play menu, you see your name and your level. If you click that, it shows you your stats. Oh, yeah. I was going to show it to people. Yeah. I'll do it next time. I'll show people the stats. Stuff.
<laughs> the aiming is really sensitive. I'm all over the place. Um, I mean, that's mouse. I mean, I, I can mess about with the aim sensitivity with the mouse inputs. Um, we'll do that. Yeah, I'd say there's a lot more options that go into the control settings. Um, I did I'd like to have it, the ability to view to customize some of the controls as well, so you can choose whatever keys you like. Um, so try and make it as accessible to people as possible. Also, be able to change the team colors uh, if you want, whatever you like. Whatever makes a difference. Um, let's do Pharaoh. And how many of us are there? Six. Let's do a, a round of team deathmatch. Yes, let's. Yeah, a lot of double spawning. Yeah, I need to add a lot more spawn points to the map. Um. <laughs> we got seven. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we got somebody without a mic, I'm assuming. Probably. I think. Uh, one person who's not readied up. Who is it? One, two. Yeah, we've got seven people, know. team deathmatch. Oh, let's go back to normal deathmatch then. Hey, Sam, how you doing, Kat? Did you enjoy your nap? Deathmatch. Oh, the only pickups, Kill like armor, double damage, haste, etc. At the moment, no. Um, but we've been discussing it, and there is some plan I'm to not do that. I'm trying to shoot you. Yeah. Uh, yes, Enderman. Yeah, that's what I'm doing though. When we start these matches, if I spawn by somebody, I'm just trying to walk away from them. Yeah, so that we'll add that in. I've got a little to add my notebook next to me in a second. Uh, two on two double type stuff. Uh, could do. I mean, nothing is off Where the table. did I go? <laughs> I'm happy to take suggestions from anyone. Um, also, if you're a video game development student at college or university and want to be involved in the creation of any of the maps in this game, um, get your teacher to email me. Uh, email contact information is at the contact side of YouTube. Check that out, email me. I've got a couple of uh, students already working on stuff on this. Uh, so they're, they're trying to make some extra maps. So at the moment we've got like one per uh, theme. <laughs> But um, <laughs> they will be remaking other ones and gimmicky ones just as well, probably. died in this corner and I spawned right back. Oh All my right. god. Wait, uh, Ryan, <laughs> what's, what's the AI you use for the voice call? No. So, the, yeah, all the AI, all the voice stuff in this game is AI based. It's done by Replica. Um, I'll get, I'll put, when this, next time I'll do this, I will put out a link to the, the uh, code I'll get. So you guys have um, extra. All right. Time on it. No, I'm stuck on the whole oh, well, nice. permanent bed right now. <laughs> oh, but yeah, definitely more small points. I spawned in the same spot three times in a row. Yeah. Got nuked. And now I'm at the... just dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bullets are slow. The bullet you're seeing is not actually the bullet. Ow. It's, it's instant hit scan. Uh, oh the my maps God, you see are from the marketplace. I didn't make them. Uh, I've done a few tweaks on some of them. Made them a bit smaller, maybe. But uh, they're all marketplace. Oh. Everything you see here is marketplace assets as a way to show you that you can make whatever you want pretty cheaply. Overall, this whole game cost me about four hundred dollars. Make. Minus the time, obviously. But how can I not get a single kill with that? I'm actually enjoying just being dead watching this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. Yeah, the majority of the assets are from Marketplace. There's only a few, like, the user interface stuff is mostly my own. Um, it's mostly, yeah, all the, all the artwork and animations are definitely uh, Marketplace with a few tweaks here and there. Um, yeah. Can't shoot him, just throw a grenade. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> just panic, just throw the grenades out. <laughs> uh, yes, it was on Steam, uh, AR-92, sorry. 
Whoa, that was a light spike. I'm dead apparently. Um, I don't know what's going on. I'm stuck. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. I'm stuck. Are you perma dead? Yeah, it's happened I before. Yes. Give it a second. It will kick you back in for some reason. It. I don't know what that is. Again, I'm streaming as well as hosting, so that may have something to do with it. I'm, I'm just standing in place. <laughs> I'm like dead watching the screen. So. Oh, this you've been dead though. this whole time? <laughs> yeah, uh, after I spawned in the corner third time in a row and I got blown up, I died. So <laughs> I've been dead basically the whole time. Which doesn't bother me. I mean, I'm still enjoying this. I'm trying, I'm trying to shoot the people that are... <laughs> Apparently you guys can't see me standing here. You guys are like having a firefight through me. <laughs> yeah, right? They keep sipping on where I'm at too. Like, are you are you like place. standing there full like like you're just standing there regularly? Oh, I don't even have a character to see. Oh no, I'm actually in my character watching this. But <laughs> oh, I can't awesome. shoot or or throw any grenades. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I was a turret. I could just start shooting people as they're walking by. <laughs> see, this is why I'm like doing beta and alpha testing. All the fun stuff you find. Hey, who's who's just stuff? shooting at the floor? Who's shooting at the floor right now? <laughs> Uh, that's that's I'm I'm right behind you. I can see look it. Behind you? No, look behind you. Like no, nope. no, look directly behind you. Right there, right there. You're looking at me. No, you're not. Now you're looking at me. Yeah, I'm, I'm right in this doorway. No, I'm in the doorway. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now I you're right dead. Can... Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're yeah. Yeah. that corpse, you. Yeah. I I guess so. I'm. Uh, yeah. You, somebody's shooting at my dead corpse. At me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man. Is we're my just corpse moving around? Bridge, or no? uh, yeah, behind you on, is my dead body. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that is. Uh, is awesome. Thing is, though, when it's broken, it makes it more funny. <laughs> yeah. It does. And, and to me, it's more entertaining. That's what I said. That's why I love doing these tests. It'd be boring if it was all working fine. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, you're too good at your job. Start messing up. Let's do some fun. Stop right? fighting around my corpse. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> funny you cannot team I got a sword guy crouch. fighting around my corpse, too. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw somebody fall out of the sky. What the hell? <laughs> 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 oh, oh they're gonna, they're, everyone's getting lasered now. Yeah, oh, he's jumped onto that thing. <laughs> uh, yes, that's right, Gizly. I am so entertained right now. <laughs> I am so entertained. Right now. Someone just landed on my dead body with their legs sticking up. Ah. <laughs> You watch, by the end of the year, we'll be at the eSport tournaments. Stop the shooting my dead body. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's getting watched in the air. Jesus. So I think, I think you're the only one who can actually see my dead body, though. Oh, I see man. dead people. Oh, I was on that entire match. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it was a nice break. I was enjoying just watching the <laughs> funny stuff going on. Alright, awesome. boys. I'm out. I'm yes. off. Uh, I think we'll end it there, actually. Way. I want to say a massive thank you to you guys for helping me test this out. It's been good fun. Um, yeah, no problem, man. And uh, I've got a few notes to fix and a few... Obviously, this bug that I'm looking at right now, I've got to fix. Um, but uh, overall, I'm quite happy with the progress it's made. So... Uh, and it's and how it performs. I thought it'd be a lot more issues than. Uh, but no, thank you everyone for joining in. And obviously we'll do some more tests later on. Um, just again, definitely, as we add new uh, patches and things like that. That was good. See ya. See everyone. Have a good one, everyone. See you later. Uh, for those watching live, I'll, I'll stick around for a little bit, ask and answer any questions you may have about the game. Um, I'll show around the menu as well. Um, bye. Bye. Uh, I'll leave the Discord chat as well. One hundred. There we are. Um. So yeah, this is uh. So to recap, uh, Fire Team is a free-to-play first-person shooter online multiplayer game. 
Um, it was voted for by the patrons. Uh, not voted for. It was um, one of the stretch goals on Patreon uh, last year. Uh, to make not only make the game, but also to make a tutorial series about how to make this game yourself. So if you want to make it, I'm going to show you how to make all of this. Um, so uh, it's been in development since the start of December, part time ish. Um, well, definitely part time. Uh, all the marketplace assets, and I say it's completely free to play. Um, but yeah, uh, it's yeah, it could be a lot of fun. So yeah, if you click on this thing up here, this card, it'll give you your stats. So I've got 203 kills, 376 deaths, 0.454 kill death ratio, 15 games played, I've well, won 12, and a win rate of 80%. Uh, so, who shall we? Um, but uh, yeah, the level, the level up system for some reason is, isn't reported well, uh, you need to fix that. Uh, but there'll be you can go into the learn tab here and in here you'll be able to get access to directly to the videos um, so You can watch how to make this thing uh, The first chapter of videos will be available to patreon members at the launch of the game. Hopefully um, So hopefully that'll be the case um, And then everyone else will get that soon after uh, fed to them as they come out um, so yeah, this is yes yeah, on Steam to wish list right now. So if you want to uh, wish list it, feel free to. Um, there's uh, Patreon members get a uh, free beta, beta, not beta, yeah, beta key basically. Get a free key uh, so you can join in on the next beta test. Um, I've sent out all the emails, but obviously people sign up every day, so I'll send out another wave in the future. Or just message me if you want one if you want on Patreon. Um, but yeah, so you'll learn about fire team. You can do what you want here. Uh, about who we are. How to learn? Get like just basically say like, hey, you can make this thing as well as yeah. Gable just draining me out a bit. Yeah, no. Hang on, let me just turn that down. Uh, let me just minimise this. Uh. Uh, I want one. Hang on. You yeah, access it from here? That mixer. Here we are. Uh, just turn five. There you go. Um, so hopefully that works out a bit better. You can give me now. Um, but yeah, so we're going to show everything, including how to upload a game to Steam. So I'm going to go through, um, yeah, I didn't have the speaker icon, it's on a different screen, long story. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to show you everything, even including up to how to release on Steam, how to go through the process of that, uh, what steps you have to do, how to actually use Steamworks and, and get a game working through that. Um, you can go through the whole process to get the whole thing on there too. So if you want to make your own fire team, you're more than welcome to. A okay. Um, use any kind of assets you like. I say these are all marketplace assets. You can do the same too. Um, yeah, good, good fun. Uh, this is all uh, peer to peer as well. So there is no dedicated servers currently. Uh, just because it, game's not going to make any money, so there's no costs involved. Oh, if it does well enough um, and there's interest enough for it, 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 it's, it could be a stretch thing we go on to do and do a dedicated server system. Um, but as of right now, it's all peer to peer. It seems to be okay. Um, works fairly well. Um, so we'll always be adding stuff to it as well. Um, so as the game goes on, we'll take suggestions from the community. Add stuff to it, um, new modes, new modifiers, new character maps, all this sort of thing. Um, yeah, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with it. I don't. It, 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 we'll expand on it, but everything we add to the game, we'll do a tutorial for it. So even though we're not going to be charging for anything, uh, we'll be using. Uh, if people may want to say, "Oh, how do we use? A, how do we make a battle pass system?" We'll make a battle pass for this, but it'll be completely free. Uh, so you can upload, uh, uh, down, uh, get hold of the battle pass and then unlock things for the game, where that may be. 
the customization stuff later on down there. We'll see. It's going to be an evolving game. It's going to evolve with us as a community. And it really is that focus on community that I want, is that everyone can chip in for ideas and uh, mix together and just have a bit of fun. And because it's going to make zero money, uh, we're not charging anything for it, um, I have no obligations to worry about if I'm going to add something that's going to break monetization, or if I'm like, oh, that's going to decrease people wanting to click on this, or how are we going to make extra money? Not, that's not a longer the case. It's now what's going to be fun. So, yeah. Uh, any plans for vehicles? Uh, not at this moment in time. Maybe down the road. Uh, who knows? Could do that. Have I looked at the Voxel plugin? Uh, not really, no. Uh, I've seen pick, like, seen it, but I haven't messed about with it at all. Water team, I look forward to playing water team. Hey, Bill. Uh, I've, uh, by the way, Bill, uh, if you're still what, here watching, uh, I've got footage for the trailer. This is the main purpose of tonight, was to get footage for a trailer. So I've got some footage. Um, I'll send it over, put it in a folder. We'll figure something out. Get okay, a trailer. Um, yeah. Uh, but patrons, if you are a patron member, you can play this whenever you like. You don't have to wait for me to join on. If you and your friends want to play it um, or want to organize a game, you can join us in Discord. In Discord, uh, there's a fire team chat. Bar me, just jump in there and organize a game amongst yourselves. You don't have to wait for me if you don't want to. Um, you can do whatever you like. Um, I'm quite a busy person, so I try. I have to book out time to do this uh, testing stuff. Uh, matchmaking. Uh, yeah, so matchmaking... I'd want to try and put something into it, um, but at the moment, uh, I don't know if it'll be there for launch, probably not for launch, but maybe in for 1.1, we'll see. Uh, there is a server browser, yeah, so if you go to play and do find match, this will report back a list of all the servers that are currently playing. Uh, as long as they're online, obviously playing it. You can also just invite your friends via Steam stuff, it's not a problem. They'll come in. Private server list too. Uh, again, it's it's peer to peer, so there is no like dedicated server set up. And there's no like server that's just sitting there waiting for you to join. You are the server. The player is the server. So um, when we get dedicated support, then if, if down the road, then yes, that'd be an option, obviously, to make it uh, public uh, and private. Uh, if you want to make your thing private um, and not advertise it, uh, that's not in there. I don't know if I can make that without using the API. But the big thing about this I wanted to keep and try and keep as much as I can intact is that this uses no C++ programming, no plugins, no extra stuff like that. It's all vanilla Unreal. Um, so if it's something that I can't do without going into the code, I won't do it because I want people, to, I want it to be as accessible to people as, as possible. Um, yeah. Host advantage like Gears of War 2. There, there will be a thing called host advantage, yep. Sadly, that's just the nature of it. Um, that's the downside. There's there's always pros and cons to everything. So the a pro of doing hosting a, a player's host is that it's free. It doesn't cost anything to do. Um, downside, obviously, you do get the host advantage issue. So um, that's we're not worried about anything like that. Mostly because... You've seen the game. It's meant for just fun, not really competitive stakes. There's no like leaderboard to track. There's no tournaments you can win. Uh, we're not worried about anything like that. We just want you guys to chill out with your buddies, have fun, blow each other up. That's that's it. I say I want to go back to the time where you went around your friends with your 64s, plugged in a controller, and just played Goldeneye all night long. 
Uh, I wanted to get that same feeling back. So there's no persistence, no, no nothing of that ilk. Okay, so um, not a, not a major issue there. How will you keep hackers away? Um, hacking what? Exactly. Steam Deck compatibility? I have no idea. I have to get a Steam Deck to check it. If someone's got a Steam Deck I want to try out. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Not a clue. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's a... Uh... But yeah, I, I... Yeah, it's only using back. Yeah, it's only nothing extra special. Just anti-cheat stuff. Uh, that comes with Steamworks. Um... Yeah, I just want to go back to those days of playing an FPS and not have to stress out. And see, so just have a bit of fun, get a few beers in, hang out with the lads. And uh, yeah, just do some fun stuff. And I say, once we get the silly modes in, the really funny, weird stuff in, um, like we're going to add a golden gun mode, for example. Uh, if you don't know what golden gun mode, it was an uh, on the golden eye game. Basically, you can only get points if you have the golden gun. The golden gun's a one hit kill. But you get the golden gun by killing the person with the golden gun. So, so uh, lots of lot of throwback game modes like that. I'll be going back to the vault as well uh, to see what kind of other weird stuff they were doing back then. I think to the game too. But yeah, check out the game on Steam. I wishlist it. Uh, it does good things for like uh, discoverability. So please do. Be good fun. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously I'm, I'm eager to see what people do with this uh, stuff and make their own stuff. And I say like the code behind it isn't that much. Um, there's um, say there isn't that much. There is, but it's not as complex as you'd think. Um, but it's some really nice stuff I've put together in here. Um, like the the game mode system I've set up here way I've got it laid out is really nice tidy setup where if I want to make a new game mode it's really simple I have to make just one function and that's it um, shrink ray funny enough you'd say that I actually had an idea for a, a mode where if you shoot if you are winning you're bigger and if you're losing you get smaller so we'll see we'll uh, <laughs> say there's all weird stuff trying out for this I would say nothing off the table. We're, always, we're trying all sorts of weird game modes. And then introduce the modifiers as well where you can really mess about with it. Yeah, the cushion stuff, that's the only thing that has to work if it doesn't work. Yeah. But Big Head mode would be in there. Uh, Big Head would be like just cosmetic thing. It won't be like anything special. Uh, but Paintball mode, paint, uh, cosmetic thing like that would be in there. Um, yeah, I don't know, just like just any anyway, random stuff I can come up with, really. Mhm. Mm There's other ones as well, like uh, you can leave uh, as you run around, you leave a trail behind you, uh, so you can see where people are going all the time, uh, which would be quite funny. Um, especially with the way you move around the map. There's all sorts of ways you can move. Um, so nothing is off the table. Looking at doing all sorts of crazy ideas. Um, looking forward to putting them in the game. But first of all, we have to get the game out there uh, with the standard stuff, and then we'll throw in the creative stuff. Uh, can you show us all the maps? I know it's the ones that look too much like Overwatch. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll show you all the maps. Um, so if I just host a match and just do it myself. A Tron light cycle, yeah, that was one idea. So if you run into like snake, like you take each other out. Um, so underworld. So all these maps are pre-built from the guy who made them. Um, he is. I can. Oh, hang on. If we close lobby. Uh, the guy who made them is Alexander Ivanov. Uh, they did this, and they were on um, the marketplace. And good, uh, and, they're, and they're decent. So I've done nothing else to them apart from like tweak them for size and scale, some bits. Um, 
<clears throat> uh, so yeah, so all the maps. Uh, I don't know what maps you saw. I didn't see. Probably I'll go the ones we probably haven't seen. So Azure is probably one you haven't seen really. If you Death just joined, match. quite late. Kill twenty-five so, players to win. Azure is like a sky sort of Greek floating dungeon thing. Uh, obviously, if you fall off, you die. Um, yeah. There's also plans, because people have asked as well, there's plans as well in the future to add a PvE mode, so you have to work together against AI bosses and things like that. Um, yeah, that'll be coming at some point in the future too. Uh, did you have other people work hands-on with it, or mainly solo? Uh, this is mostly, this is all me. Uh, the only stuff I, I didn't do the artwork. Uh, I'm not an artist, so I just bought it from the marketplace. But all the other, all the rest of it, I made myself. So it, it took me about two, two and a half months, two months part time to do it. Uh, seasonal events. Um, it's like, yeah, could we could do? Yeah, can do. We'll see what happens. So nothing's off the table. Uh, player drop in, drop out. Currently not, no. Um, we could do. I turned it off though. Um, so when you join the match, uh, when you start the match, sorry, it closes the session off so people can't join midway. Um, it's, people prefer it the other way. I can turn it off the other way. No problem. So yeah, all the power weapons like the rail gun here have like a secondary movement based effect. So the rail gun is explosive, so it will launch you in the air. Good fun because you can get up quite high and do some damage from up high. But you run out of ammo quite quickly on those. There's only ten ammo, um, and you can't you can't reload them. Uh, the sword, the teleport, and explosion as well. So you go forward a little bit and do a little bit of aerial damage. But we're going to change it a little bit to be a charge rather than an instant. It's a bit overpowered. How are you handling weapon switching, animations, or using a timeline? Um, it's um, all instant. So, for example, if I go find a pickup. Well, if I'm about to use this one, you'll see it just instantly switches to it. Nothing. Um, there's only one weapon. You can't switch between a primary and secondary. You have this gun here with infinite ammo. Reload, that's all. See, so it just switches out instantly. We're, we're, we're scaling back a lot of the stuff we don't actually need. So, it's so going back to arcadey thing. We're not, hey, we're not going for realism. If you can't tell, <laughs> it's not uh, going for but just fun, 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 fun times. Uh, yes, and this is the curved UI. You're right. This is where the curved UI came from. Where I first developed it, and then I made that video on how to make it. It's all using the curved UI. Uh, I have seen, yep, uh, Fletcher. I have seen that plugin. Yep, that's fine. It's good. It's a good, damn good plugin. Um, but one of the goals for this project was to make it with zero plugins. So literally, like someone who wanted to make their own first-person shooter online, they can do with zero extra work. Um, so yeah. But no, it, that is a good plugin. Yeah, I agree. I just wanted. I wanted to have a visual thing to show people today. This is what you can do with the basic setup. With no mods, no plugins, no anything extra special. You out of the box, what can you do? Yeah, you do. This is just the beginning. Uh quit uh, Go number one. Uh, I mean, which I mean, which one you probably saw is the underworld one. Uh, medieval. Deathmatch. 
Kill 25 enemy players to win. Footsteps towns. Yep, there are footsteps towns. Probably too subtle for you guys to hear it, but there are that they are there. Oh, someone's in the match. <laughs> Who's with me? Alien fish. Hello. <laughs> I didn't even realize someone joined. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, medieval uh, market. This is called. And as you can see, so this one had probably the most changes in its design because this castle is actually a level you can actually go inside of it. Uh, there's the interior is still there. Um, it may be a, its own level at some point. So you've got the castle there. And these houses also have an interior too. I just close the doors on them. Um, the castle actually also you can if you look you can actually get around the back of the whole entire thing too. Uh, I built uh, or dragged out these walls even further closer in so it just cuts off this bit but this actually goes further around it goes right around the castle it just felt too big so i cut it in half basically um and the houses were too much of a dead end so I took that out right alien fish here uh this is all blueprints spandy no there's not a single c++ code in here whatsoever Again, not just because I, I can't, it's because it's. I wanted to, to to prove to people that you don't need it. You can do it without it. And make your own game. And so this is just obviously a first person shooter, but obviously you can make any multiplayer. Um, I think my next one I'd like to make after this is some sort of cooperative game. Or like a asynchronous cooperative game, sort of like Among Us, or uh, so maybe something horror related, something more realistic, but not cartoony like this. Something a bit more serious. Um, yeah. Um, so you could have given level progress from one area, close off, and into the castle. Could do. Yeah, yeah. These doors also weren't here by the gate. That was open. I put the door there, and there's an invisible wall there to stop you from doing it. There's invisible walls around the whole entire thing and an invisible ceiling too. So you can't get can't go on forever. Um because that was an issue at first. There's a lot of cheesy things like you can just hide up here if you want. So I want to make a detective game where you solve crimes. Funny enough, I have uh, always wanted to make a VR game that was like a detective game. So like you're in a crime scene, you've got to like look around the crime scene, pick up things, and dust them and things like that in VR. Um, I don't know why, but that's something I really want to make and play myself. A Sherlock Holmes game, but in VR, I feel like that would be actually really, really fun. Or at least fun for me. Uh, sloped collisions. Uh, they are sloped. See? It's just that you can't walk up certain angles. They're just too steep. Oh yeah, they are sloped. This could be VR. If this was VR, I think you'd be sick. <laughs> It'd be pretty insane. <laughs> Maybe you don't know, I don't know. But I feel like you would throw up quite quickly. Like just doing this in VR would be just Yeah. Vomit inducing. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's come back out here and check out our map. Sorry, alien fish. Um, another one. Uh, I'm trying to other ones you might not have seen. There's factory. Death match. Kill 25 enemy players to win. I don't know if alien fish made it into this one. No, it didn't. So, uh, this is a factory. So we've got plans to add loads of loads of maps. 
Some of the similar themed, so we're reusing the assets and making them from scratch. So these ones are pre-built by their map makers um, on the marketplace. I didn't change really much of them, but obviously all the assets are modular, so you could repurpose them to make your own maps out of them. And so that's what we'll do down the road. Um, we'll add more maps using the same assets. So there may be another map that is of this same kit, um, but is obviously a different layout or different style entirely. Oh, good, Fletcher. Glad to help. Yeah, you'll see a lot of the stuff from the online session stuff tra uh, duplicate over into here. We have a few improvements um, as I've been developing it. Obviously, I've discovered better ways of doing it. Um, yeah. Any advice on doing the FPS cam with the arms and full body? Uh, yeah, so what you're seeing here is... Um, Oh, it was you, was it, Alienfish? Sorry. <laughs> I changed map, sorry. Um, so, the FPS body you're seeing here, there's actually four models of the character on one person. So each player has four models on them. One is the arms. One is the legs. So if you look down, you see legs. Those legs are actually disembodied. They don't actually connect to anything. Um, then, there's the shadow. So at the moment, if you, were, if you didn't have... Hang on. But this body here you see on the shadow... That's another mesh rendering the shadow um, to give the impression that you've got a full body there and not just floating legs and arms. And then there is the third person model, which other people see. There's four models of the character running around doing stuff. Um, so if you want to get a full version of this, four is the, the, the sweet spot. Yeah. That's without like customization stuff. Yeah, pretty crazy with these things. So you can all fight up here if you want. It's not a problem. There's invisible walls stopping you. Um, so you can't do too much. Uh, the full model, you can cast the shadow and only no, no, say yes, that's right. So it, it, the shadow you're seeing, it doesn't render the main model. It renders the shadow. Um, the reason why you can't use that for the third person one is because it doesn't line up with the feet. The feet are much further back than you think. Of why, like if you think about it realistically in like real life, the camera being eyes, your arms wouldn't be up here all the time with a sword and shield and like, it'd look weird. You don't do that in real life. So it's actually more like in the chest um, and the legs are then further back so you can't look down at your chest. But yeah. Um, yeah, so the legs are doing the feet things, they're separate completely. They're not attached to it whatsoever. Um, I've got a tutorial about how to do the leg thing. If you want to see that, it's on. I've got a video on it, how to do FPS legs. You've got pretty much the same setup I just described in that video. Uh, how many characters or just the one guy? So for launch, there'll be just this one guy and maybe a female variation. Um, but uh, eventually we'll get to a point where you can select characters. Uh, not customize them, but you can select them. So there'll be different types of characters. Again, all from the marketplace, all from the same artist as well. So they'll look in keeping. Um, so there's a knight, an elf, hunk, um, a robot thing. Uh, so all these things will be added eventually. Um, just drip feeding. We just want to get the basics out there first. Because um, again, every patch we do to this, we'll do videos on how to make the things we make we're putting in there so it, there shouldn't be any questions about anything you see in this game wondering how to do it we should we will be answering every single question yeah fix the shadow thing yeah shadow thing yeah literally there's a there's a tick box called rendering main pass you just turn it off and it will render just the shadow not the actual mesh That's right. That's right, Jeremiah. Yeah, because uh, I'm already in the game, Fish. Um, once you're in the game, you can't join it mid-game. Uh, I'm just going to uh, come out and host another one and choose a different thing. So all the voices are AI generated by Replica AI. 
Um, I've got a discount code for people, so I will share that uh, when I get around to it. Um, but uh, it's all replica, uh, so you just type in what you want to say, and it sounds pretty good um, for for that. Uh, it's pretty pretty good. Um, I think that's it for maps. I think you've seen most of them now. Uh, Jeremiah, asset flipping is fine if you don't charge for it. Uh, so, if obviously, if you bought this from Marketplace, you can use it for projects. That's the thing you have to remember is the stuff of Marketplace isn't just to be looked at. Use it. Buy it. Use it for your actual game. Do it. Um, it's all the maps. Uh, they're not free. I think one of them was free at one point, but they are quite cheap um, for what they are. um but yeah uh, like do do use the yeah, marketplace marketplace has got some really good assets you can use and i say a lot of free ones as well do use them yeah they're not there just to be ogled at and be like oh that's pretty cute use them and that's why they're there for um and that's what i wanted to get across with this sort of project is to show you guys with a very small amount of funds literally this game cost me in total with all the assets about four hundred dollars so um we're, we're, we're putting that forward into uh into the project and that's it you've got a whole game so it's really really cheap to put together um but not a problem at all so yeah uh fire team this is um seventh noodle um Death match. Kill 25 enemy players to win. Uh, yeah, for the creator, plug it, plug it, push it in. Yep. So uh, if you are going to use marketplace assets, uh, you you can only use them for Unreal projects. You can't use them for anything else. Um, and that's it. You don't owe them anything. Uh, you've already paid for it. Uh, you don't owe them anything. But you are. I think you are advised to credit them. I mean, if it's advised or requested it varies person to person but uh, I've, I've credited them i've put them in the credits so if you want to, if you wanted to make this exact game you will be able to find the people made these things and do it yourself like it exactly this game um, and i have no problem with that you can do like, whatever you want so i'm doing it for a learning experience for you guys so you can make these games yourself so I, lo I love game development and I want to show people that yes, it's hard, but it's not impenetrable. Um, anyone can just pick up and learn. Together. And it doesn't have to take an age to do it either. I say like this. I mean, I know what I, 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 I think I know what I'm doing. So this took only like t uh, two months to put together, but put a year into it and you could you could make this as well. And hey how you've got a game on Steam and you can charge for it if you want, you do whatever you like. Yeah. Did it cost me a fee a fee with Steam? Yes, you have to pay a hundred dollars for an individual game on Steam. So yeah. Uh, no, I'm not playing anymore. I'm just showing maps off to people and talking, asking, answering questions. Um, I'm literally going to go to bed in a second. Yeah, this map asset. Yeah, it's a good one. I like this one. Um, all from the same artist as well, so they will look the same. Um, yeah, his packs are pretty cheap. I say like and nice. I like this is my this is my favourite art style. So I was like a sucker for these. I was like yes, all right, we'll we'll get these. Uh, what time is it where I'm at? It is quarter past eleven. In the evening. How's your wife? Uh, oh yes, she's okay. Um, doing a bit of pain, but she's okay. Thank you. Just likes to make me Oh, 
bomber crack, yes. Uh, you... Right. If you're an indie guy who doesn't can't afford to pay for individual unique assets, use marketplace assets. That's why they exist. Well, that's what's the point. Um, paying for an actual artist to put together things for you uh, that are unique to your game is expensive as hell. So not everyone can afford that. And I wouldn't expect you to afford it. The marketplace is there for you as an indie developer. Um, it's there to help you put together your games. So use it. It's a resource. Use it. It's there. Even if I was charging 60 bucks for this game, you'd still be okay to do that. Use it. Okay. If I was EA with like millions and millions of dollars and I could pay someone to do a unique artwork, sure, no problem. I'd do so. I don't. Okay. Uh, and the same for you guys. Like, none of you are going to be able to have the money to afford a full artist to work on your game. Don't expect it. You've got a uh, access to resources, use them. Same goes for sound effects, music, things like that. Anything you can do. Um, if it helps you out, do it. Um, as long as you're not breaking the law, you're okay. <laughs> it's a more functional game than current AAA games. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I say, I was quick with this. I didn't change any of the maps. If I wanted to, I could have taken all these maps apart and just made them all unique. Um, but I'm lazy. <laughs> um, but yes, you can you can do whatever you want with them. Once you've paid for them, it's like you as if you've hired the person yourself. Um, so, yeah. Is there voice chat? Uh, not built into it, but I, I don't know whether to add it or not. I uh, see what people think. Um, it's very easy to add. People want it. Um, yeah, uh, we'll we'll see. I weren't too sure. It might be too toxic. If people want to chat. We can use Discord or whatever uses they usually are using. Um, it may it may be more suitable for this game because it is maybe that fun sort of hangout play game rather than a I must beat you, I must get the best I mean, must be the best in the world type game and um, it's not that so it may actually be more suitable for it yeah that's what it is, yeah it's a couple of nodes it's very simple yeah we'll experiment with voice chat and see how it does, also we'll test to see if voice chat, uh, what kind of lag that adds or any kind of network issues it has uh, yeah, proximity chat. Yeah, it could be quite fun. Voice chat. Okay, we'll add voice chat. I'll put in the next patch for beta. <laughs> we'll put voice chat into it and see how it works. Oh, dear. But, yeah. Okay, but I will go now. Um, thank you again to everyone who helped me test it tonight. Um, and we got some good footage there to put together for the trailer. Um, so we'll start putting that together. Ready for the release. Um, and uh, thank you everyone who supported me over on Patreon as well. Uh, if you are a Patreon member, you do have access to this beta right now. You'll find it emails. If that little key you can help yourself to. If you're a new Patreon, just send me a message on Patreon and I can send you the key directly. Um, I've got about 100 left, I think. So, thank you very much, and thank you for the kind words about the game. Uh, hopefully, you enjoy playing it as much as I've had making it. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everyone. Good night.